So good morning, Anna. Yesterday uh, I didn't post your lectures class, lectures uh, uh, basics class. So today we are going to get idea about how to find the magnitude of given vector. How to find the magnitude of given vector. Suppose r bar is a vector. R bar is a vector. Look here. R bar is equal to x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. That is a vector. That is in space. It means that suppose R bar is a position of a point. Position of a point in a space. You need to travel x meters along x axis. y meters along y axis and z meters along z axis suppose the same vector if i am writing the same vector in numerics r bar is equal to 2 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 4 k cap meters it gives you idea that this location is in a space space that mean suppose this is the x axis and this is the y axis and this is a z axis a object is present here or this r bar is located here that is in x y plane x y plane so what it mean 2 meters along x axis 3 meters along y axis so you are here r bar is equal to 2y plus 3z plus 4k is there now so you need to move somewhat move away from this plane so that you will be in in a space here, here. a direction yeah. x direction y direction and z direction that is in space so what is the distance between this point and this point final point of this vector 2 meters along x axis 3 meters along y axis 4 meters along z axis so you are here what is the distance or displacement between this location and this location direct path that is nothing but a displacement so what is that that is nothing but magnitude of this r bar magnitude of this r bar how to get how to get that is equal to a root over root over i coefficient square plus j coefficient square plus k coefficient square so this total can be written like this 4 plus 9 plus 16 that is equal to a root 29 a root 29 meters from the origin this point uh, represents the location of a point in the space as 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 4k cap that means 2 meters along x axis 3 meters along y axis and 4 meters along z axis Like this, two meters, three meters, and four meters. Now we are in space. Now we are in space, and the vector notation will be in a straight path like this. To get this magnitude of length, we need to find out the magnitude of given vector in this process. Square root over i coefficient square plus j coefficient square. Plus k coefficient square. This is a sixteen nine four twenty plus nine root twenty nine meters. So this location is at a distance of root twenty nine meters from the origin. This is what you will get from the magnitude. And suppose our general formula. If R bar is equal to x i k plus y j plus z k, then magnitude of R bar is represented in this way, and that is nothing but 
x square plus y square plus z square. Even in another problem is there. If they are given like this, r bar is equal to 2i cap minus 3j cap plus 4k cap. So one notation is minus. Nothing will happen. The same thing you can proceed like this. 2 square plus minus 3 whole square plus 4 square. The same answer you will get. The same answer you will get. Even you are having minus for a number. You are doing square now. We all need to know for any minus number you are doing square. You are doing square. That will become positive. That will become positive. Your answer will become positive. Minus x whole power 2 or even number. You will get a minus on this. You will get a plus on this. Plus on this. So this is how you need to find out the magnitude of given vector. The magnitude of given vector. In this few models are there. Let me give you idea. Please everyone note down the running notes along with the problem. Your fundamental formula is this one and this is the problem 1 and this is the problem 2. Note it down in a notes. Okay. This is a review class for your vectors. Who those are not profession, null, professional. Do not become a professional in vectors, mathematical physics. Go through these videos. Okay. Come on, do it. Suppose a problem given to you like this r bar is equal to 3 i cap plus 4 k cap. Then how do you proceed to find the magnitude of given vector? Why? Because you know the magnitude of vector can be written like this root over i coefficient square that is x square plus j coefficient square y square plus k coefficient square z square. You make a habit of this. Already you made this. Now here i coefficient is there, k coefficient is there. Where is j coefficient? So you need to write like this. The given vector can be written like this 3 i cap plus 0 j cap plus 4 k cap. The same thing, same thing here. Now what he is asking? He is asking to find magnitude of given vector. So you can proceed like this. Root over 3 square plus 0 square plus 4 square. Because i quotient is 3, j quotient is 0, k quotient is 4. Then you will get like this. 9 plus 0 plus 16 that is equal to root 25 is equal to 5. 5 units is the magnitude of given vector. And sometimes he may ask in different manner, what is the magnitude of given vector along x axis? Along x axis. From this, magnitude of given vector along x axis is equal to root over i coefficient square only. Then square root will get cancelled, will get 3. So this is the magnitude of given vector in x axis. Along x axis. Along z axis along y axis y axis root over 0 square that is equal to 0 only along z axis what is the magnitude of this one along z axis root over 4 square because k coefficient is a 4 that is along z axis you need to remember always i j k are the unit vectors along x axis y axis and z axis now come on please 4 square, 4 square, square and 4 will get square and root will get cancelled, you will get 4. So these are the magnitudes of given vector along x axis and z axis. Suppose he is asking from the another vector and we will go for another vector. R bar is equal to x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. Then what is the magnitude of given vector? In xy plane, in xy plane, I think you remember this. In our classroom, I discussed that. so far a lot of questions on this. Now, what I am going to do is from the given vector, what is the magnitude of that given vector in a plane? In our previous problem, we came to know the given vector magnitude is nothing but 
in a space. No, magnitude of given vector is is in a space. In this problem, the magnitude of given vector along x-axis we came to know in this process. Along y-axis we came to know. Along z-axis we came to know. Now the same vector magnitude in x-y plane. How much it is? The given vector magnitude in a x-y plane. x plane root over x position i position x square y position y j position y square so this is the magnitude of given vector in x y plane suppose the magnitude of given vector in y z plane take this y z plane j and k y j position is y y square plus z square because k vector is nothing uh, k vector is unit in vector along z axis come on to this same one in x z plane x z plane x z plane x z so what is the magnitude of this one the same vector the same vector is given to you he is asking to find the magnitude of the given vector in x y plane we got root over x square plus y square Find the magnitude of given vector in y z plane that is equal to root of y square plus z square, and the same vector magnitude in x z plane root over x square plus z square. Okay, I hope you understand this. So what we discussed so far in this video is finding the magnitude of given vector. For that. We select a general vector equation. R bar is equal to x i bar plus y j bar plus z k bar. This is our vector. What it means is along x axis we need to travel x units. Along y axis y units. Along z axis z units. What is the magnitude of that? That magnitude. Is equal to root over x square plus y square plus z square. That is in a space. In our second part, we came to know to find the magnitude of given vector along the axis. That means x axis. Root over x square. X square means coefficient of i j. That I will write. Yes. Coefficient of i j. Coefficient of j j. Coefficient of k. So this is coefficient of i cap here. So root over three square, you will get three. And the same vector magnitude along y axis is root over y coefficient, the j coefficient that is zero square, you will get zero. The same vector magnitude along z axis, that is magnitude of given vector along z axis is equal to root over k coefficient four square, that is equal to. We came to know this, okay. In the same way, we came to know to find the magnitude of vector in x y plane root over x square plus y square, in y z plane root over y square plus z square, in z x x z plane root over x square plus z square. So this is how we came to know to find the magnitude of given vector in a space along a line. In a space is the first point along line. That means x axis, z axis, and Y axis and in a plane x z x y plane y z plane and z x plane. Okay, okay. Go through these ones, understand and prepare your notes and make this as a problem for you. Third one, third problem and this is a fourth problem and this is a, a concept. Tomorrow we will go through this one once again. Okay.